Thanks to Michael and welcome to everybody um, online and on site as well. My name is Tom, Tom Fleischmann. I'm working for Carriot. Um, I'm an engineer by heart. I'm not coding anymore. I'm trying to have my guys do the coding and get the stuff done. Um, I'm not speaking here now on behalf of Carriot so much, but really try to give you an insight into the working group software defined vehicle at Carriot. And I, um, some have seen this thing already. Um, I try to, and it even already got pull requests from within members from the STV working group. Um, so we work a little bit on this map here. And the fun fact is it's a subway map, so it's not a uh, road map. Um, nevertheless, this one has pretty much most of the software defined vehicle topics on it. So you will see here on the brown line, a lot of embedded topics, which drive us, which we need in order to be able to build cars and bring the embedded software into vehicles. There's everything on from Ethernet to the CAN bus to RTOS systems. Um, and so you will find your topics there. Um, being here now at uh, T-Systems in that big building here, there is as well the yellow line with a lot of cloud computing topics that is kind of related to the embedded world, where both worlds meet, where car connectivity gateways connect the vehicle to the cloud, um, working to allow automated driving, data collection, and things like that. Um, and as well for us, especially in the software world um, and in the systems engineering world, se systems security is important. And it starts from the very embedded security on the green line on the left side, where it's about secure engineering, secure boot as technologies and ends on the very um, other side with cloud security being really able to be ready for an incident response whenever something happens. And there are more topics on that map. I could talk really one, two hours alone on this map and I will save you this time for another talk. Um, so today we're really looking on the software defined vehicle parts that are really in the core center of the map and especially you know, when you've asked me 10 years ago, it would have been on the trend thingy. Um, but now we're here. We're here with the Eclipse Foundation, with all of you in the industry, and really open source is not so much anymore a trend. You cannot build a car today without using open source. And with us car makers becoming more and more software guys as well, we can as well use open source software in order to contribute things that are non-differentiating for us out in the open and work in the open source world way more than we could before, which enables an additional level of collaboration that would not have been possible beforehand. And you can do open source in many ways. So you can just put out a project on GitHub, but we selected especially to do open source with the Eclipse Foundation, with you, and with the Eclipse Foundation, because we are having a neutral playing field and a couple of other benefits by really working and collaborating inside of the Eclipse domain. Um, coming to the core part, what I actually wanted to present, and the colors I noticed by accident kind of fit to where we are here, but it was near really not intentional, so I need to say sorry for that, but I think it fits here to the telecom guys. Um, <laughs> So, some insights into the Eclipse STV workgroup charter, um, which I brought to you and which I want to highlight because they're really important for the collaboration that we are seeing here. First one, the areas. So, Eclipse STV has these three areas and we already heard about it in the speech uh, before. Development tool chains, development workflows, everything that you need and that we as an industry need in order to build software for cars, for cloud, for the edge. It's sure one topic. Operations in order to manage fleets, software updates, the cloud as well as the embedded side. There's as well a lot of topics where we can collaborate on and where open source software can help us. And then the edge computing from real cell-based edge computing to as well what we see in the IoT domain already and what is about to come. The cloud native is big big topic hyped as well to some extent but there is a lot of technology as well as workflow and processes that we can learn from cloud native development that could help us as well in order to 
deploy software into a vehicle or to terraform pretty much a vehicle software system. And here I want to speak out a clear invitation to everybody in the industry to think along these three lines, but potentially as well add other ones. And we see one project in the contribution space later on, which kind of targets already something like, and I'm not saying that we're having this thing in the charter yet, but it's more saying something like an STV application. So trying for us as an industry in order to learn and as well have applications that could be out there in the open source and serve as learning grounds how automotive applications are being built. So, so far for the areas. Now, just briefly on the projects and why they matter so much. If you have been in the automotive industry for kind of, kind of one or two decades, you've seen a lot of standardizations ongoing and how we as an industry worked in trying to come to conclusions what we want to use in general um, for software terms, for applications, for specifications. And it's sometimes a hard process with mixed results, I would say. Um, so at the Eclipse Foundation, the projects are really self-governing in the way that the project needs to be attractive in order to find adoption throughout industry, throughout other software projects to say, this project is valid for me. So the community will decide on adoption, on basically technical merit, attractiveness, benchmarks, performance benchmarks, runtime benefits, and things like that. And the Eclipse Foundation and the SDV Working Group have the job really to support these projects in their ability to grow, to be known, to receive contributions on a way that everybody can be sure that IP right stuff is being ready, so um, that really large corporations can work and collaborate in this space here on that project. But the project does not have to make technical sacrifices which they don't intend to do. That's very important for the project side. And then as well, what we are having in the charter and what Eclipse STV won't do is potentially as well important. So there is no intention to have kingmakers here or to say there is already a project that does similar stuff. It won't be excluded if we have a secondary project doing something similar. Let technical merit, the community adoption decide what actually um, is being used in the market. So there won't be a project excluded um, as well as Eclipse or the working group will not create a single stack saying that only that solution is valid. There are very different solutions valid for different car architectures or for different cloud architectures that connect to whatever um, architectures that we're seeing out there. So it's not the intention to have, if we can have a multitude of building blocks that make sense in a stack, that's even better. And we will foster a combination of STV project wherever it makes sense. But it's not so that we need a single stack or that we will push that only a single stack is allowed. Um, so for us as automotive industry, it's really a new way of collaborating in this world. Um, we see this through the, through the whole supply chain and as well for us as software OEMs, I would call. And then, um, so there is more collaboration to come. We already heard what projects we have inside of Eclipse STV, but there is as well a lot of projects and organizations outside of Eclipse STV. And um, I try to list a couple of them. Um, sure, being on an Eclipse event today, Eclipse projects are listed here as well. But there is as well, from Autosar to Covisa, um, to Sophie, to the Cloud Native Foundation, there is a multitude of organizations where the Eclipse Foundation and the work group helps us to collaborate with them, to talk with them and to exchange thoughts as well as strategies and alignment. So far for the brief update on Eclipse STV work group introduction, um, which brings me back to the map, to the whole overview. And because we're on a contribution day, I want to step down now and give the stage to the actual contributions for our future mobility and uh, invite the contributions then as the next step. Thanks, everybody, online and here.